everyone, this is Miss Kavibi from Kavibi Hair. Okay, so I just recorded my Love Your Hair Challenge Phase 3 video, and I thought this would be a really good time for me to give you guys a review on the Becca primer that I bought a few weeks ago. Now, it is currently, it is currently 5.30. Let me try to take a picture of that. Okay, so it's 5.30 and the temperature outside right now is 90 degrees. I have been using the Becca primer since my birthday. So it's been, it's almost been two months and I use it every day and I absolutely, I love it. Now it took me a while to figure out exactly how much I needed to use and exactly where to use it. And so for me, what I found is I'll do a pea-sized amount and I'll put that all over my face and then I'll do like a half a pea-sized amount and then I'll focus that on my T-zone area. Now, I went to a baby shower today. It is hot in Miami. Like it is, there's no wind right now. It's actually not that humid, although I'm never really the best to be able to tell when it's humid or not. But my makeup was done at... 9 a.m. this morning because the shower was at 11 and I had to run off to Tiffany to get my gift and it is now 5 30 so 9 10 11 12 1 2 3 4 5 it's been eight hours and let me try to get a close-up so you guys can see exactly like how it looks so this is with I didn't blot I didn't need to use powder nothing what I absolutely love about the primer is that even though my skin still gets a little bit oily because I have super oily skin, the makeup isn't floating all over my face anymore. It's just now I'll sort of have a natural sort of shimmer or glow, I would say, but this is pretty much like how it looks. And I like to have like that matte look to my face, but sometimes I will use like the Scandinavia spray uh, finishing spray just to kind of give a more natural look but certain times like today for example like I wanted my makeup to look very matte and to stay put um, and it was great so if you have really oily skin I've been using it for two months I do have like sensitive skin that's prone to breakout and I haven't had any issues with that I would highly recommend it I know a lot of you guys use the the milk of magnesia and I had concerns about that. Um, and from what I've read, you need to be very careful when using that on your skin because it does alter the pH of your skin, which can cause, which can be problematic. Um, so just keep that in mind if you're doing that. I personally prefer to use something that this is what it's designed for. And I don't have to worry about breakouts or pH balance issues or anything else. So I absolutely love it, highly recommend it. Um, yeah, so I hope this video was helpful, and I'll see you guys next time. Kisses, bye.